What's up, y'all? Welcome to Three Brothers in a Shot of Milk. I'm Lawrence St. Victor, and today we're unboxing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Last Ronin. Man, I threw up a toy hunting video. I was in Michigan visiting family. I went to a FYE. That's FYE prices, ladies and gentlemen. And I think... <laughs> They're they're overpriced, but I saw it and I had to get it. And to be honest with you, I haven't seen it in any uh, Targets or, or Walmarts where I live in L.A. And I like I like buying stuff in store. You know, I like the experience of the hunt. So anyways, I got this at the Great Lakes Mall, Great Lakes Crossing Mall in Michigan. If you're there, check it out. It's an amazing mall. Lots of toy stores. But anyway, let's get on with it. Uh, I don't. I actually never read this comic book before. I've never read this comic. I know of the comic. I know what happens to the turtles. Spoiler alert. I know they all die. And Michelangelo becomes the last Ronin. And just off the story of that, I was like, I had to have it. NECA made the figure. I thought the figure looked dope. And I will be getting the comic to read the comic. But this figure's fire. So let's look at the packaging real quick. You have this awesome artwork right here, The Last Ronin. And it is kind of like a futuristic uh, sort of New York City. And right here, and if you want to, you can pause it and read this right here if you want to. There we go, sick. And of course, like a packaging. You get to have a dope box and see the figure at the same time. They had the armored and unarmored in the store, but I dig the armored. Let's get this bad boy open. I was a big Ninja Turtles fan as a kid, man. Yeah, I'm an 80s baby, so I grew up with the cartoons. I grew up with the first movie, Secret of the Ooze. I loved Secret of the Ooze. I know, like... Die Hard Turtle fans are like, the first one is more like the comics. Man, I didn't know there was a comic book. <laughs> I know. As a kid, I didn't. I didn't. I thought I just knew of the cartoon and knew of the movie. Um, nothing else in the box right there. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, I'm just looking at it. I'm tripping. Forget about that. Let's put that right there. Um... But I was a big Ninja Turtles fan as a kid. And of course, everyone everyone loved Michelangelo. I know Raphael was the, the badass, but come on, man. Cowabunga, dude. It's like all Michelangelo. Uh, so, I have a few NECA figures. Not a lot. I have the uh, Christopher Reeves Superman figure. And... Uh, Homelander. That's all the NECA figures I have. And so far, I really enjoyed what they've created. And um, a fellow three brother in the shot of milk, Rich, who does his own unboxings uh, on this channel in this playlist, he's been doing the whole gargoyles joint. Trying to cut this without damaging it. Okay. He did, he's been doing all the gargoyles uh, NECA stuff, uh, which has been really, really great. So if you want to check out some gargoyles NECA, you have to check out his videos. They're pretty awesome. Um, oh. Oh, man, remember when you used to be able to just, I know this have a lot of accessories, but remember when you used to be able to just open up a figure and play with it? You're going to go through all of this. Uh, worry about damaging the whole thing. Well, let's just put these to the side right here. Cause I don't want to cut into his arms. Uh, bear with me, people. It's been a while since I've done an unboxing. My first one of 2023. Not the channel's first one, though. Jack, he's also a 
part of Three Brothers and Shot of Milk. He's done a few a couple of unboxings of his, including the uh, Gigawatt Transformers joint. So make sure you check that out. That's pretty sick. All right. There we go. Oh, okay. All right. Finally out. A million minutes later. This is a good looking figure, man. This is a good looking figure. This is actual like rope. Is this held with? That's dope. This part is plastic though, but this is actual material. That's pretty cool, man. And you can see the texture. This is kind of a softer uh, plastic on top of his armor. And this is where it gets soft again. Um, oh man, and the turtle feet. Look at that freaking paint. The paint app in detail is crazy. They do have holes on the bottom, but no figure stands. But with big flat feet like that, you don't need them. But if you want to give them some cool poses, uh, they might come in handy. But my dude is just going to stand on the shelf and look at the material here. This is great. This is a dope figure. I love the details, man. That could kill this. Ah, oh, man. And look at the face. Man, Michelangelo's been through some stuff. Spoiler alert. <laughs> oh. And then, of course, he has his hood right here. What you put in, it has a little... See that little thing that'll go into the hole in the back of his head? Oh, that nice, smart, man, smart. That way you have this on and you can still turn his head, although it's not really fastening in. Oh, this was bent up. Gonna have to line it up perfectly and slide it in. That's what she said. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh man, this is sick. Let's. That's dope. Let's take a look at some accessories, man. So, I don't know the comics, so you guys are probably gonna blast me for not <laughs> knowing the details. But I will get the comic. I promise you. But as a Turtles fan, knowing this could be a possible future, I had to get it. Ooh, everything's falling out. Everything is. Lots of accessories, man. Whoa. Tell you one thing, NECA really does secure their figures. I'll tell you that much. Okay. We're gonna take a look at all these joints. Uh, and this extra head. All right, I think I've got everything out. Okay, first up, very important. Probably one of the most important accessories are these hands, these hands. That way he can actually grip his weapons with this hand. And this is a cool action hand too. You're not gripping anything with this, but it's still a nice uh, kind of action move. Um, action hand, you know, they're in action, not just balled up fists, which I'm not mad at the balled up fists. So put those right there. The next step we got is, oh, Leo's sword. Um, my, my, uh, it's late right now, and I'm having a brain fart on the actual term. 
of this sword. It's, the, the sword has an actual name. I'm blanking on it, but this is sword. And you see this right here. That's pretty dope. That's sick, man. And this is pretty hard. Nice. And of course, this goes right. Does it go right in here? I don't want to force it. Or is it kind of supposed to be like uh, this? That can't be it. When in doubt, look at the box. What the heck? Yeah. Huh. Maybe I'm supposed to like really force this through. Uh, I don't want to force it. Uh, I guess you're supposed to. Okay, it's being a little delicate, but there it is. That's pretty dope. Next up, we have Donatello's bow. That's kind of crazy, man, to be the last one in here. You're fighting with your brother's weapons to like avenge and remember them. But oh, before I put this in, and I should have did this with the sword. The sword is pretty, the blade is pretty simple, but look at this. This looks freaking real. This handle looks like the craftsmanship on this is crazy. I mean, I know I got it for 44 bucks, but come on, this is worth the price point for that type of detail. It's not painted, it's sculpted. That's pretty dope. And then you can see right here, look at this. It actually feels like a piece of wood. If this had like material around it, man, this is worth the 44 bucks I spent. Even though you probably can get a little cheaper somewhere else. This is worth it. And I believe this goes right In here, according to that picture, it does. There we go. Oh, man. okay. We had a little technical difficulty, but I was getting ready to show you his. Uh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Sorry. His sigh, Raphael's sigh. You can check out the craftsman on that bad boy. That is so sick. That is sick, man. It only came with one of them. So for those of you that read the comic and know why there's only one, let me know. And I think that goes right there. Man. And then we only get one of these two. But look at this. Freaking Michelangelo's nunchucks. His nunchucks. Look at the, you can see the detail right here. Let's get this in focus, focus. Here we go. Look at that. I mean, honestly, is it wood? Because <laughs> it, it, it looks and feels like wood, but it's not, it's plastic. It's plastic. This is really well done, man. And it's like on a chain for real. That is sick. And where does this go? This is supposed to go, where does it say? Where does it go? Do we get some pictures? Oh, the side goes there. Oh. So then I think, where does the ninjucks go? Uh -huh. Anywhere I want. <laughs> I'm gonna put it right in here. It's 
It's not really practical. Can't really get to them. <laughs> Is that it? I don't know. Well, no, yeah, I think so. That way you can put them both in. Boom, that looks right. Yo, this figure is dope. Look at all these weapons and accessories. This is crazy. And then we have, of course, we have this. His um, dropping accessories. In case you want to go without You can just put this bad boy in real easily. That's pro uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna display him. But this is pretty dope. And then we have his goggles. With a real material right here. This is bringing it back to like some toys back in the day. And I'll ugh, pop that head off. And put these joints right here. And pop this head right back on. Yo, this figure, like, honestly, this figure is making me want to buy the comic. Has that ever happened to you guys where you buy the figures or the accessories and they're making you want to go and buy the comic book? Because this is sick. This is sick. Oh, oh man. Stand still. Um, what else do we have? We have this freaking... Rope with claw. <laughs> oh, where the heck is this supposed to go? I guess here. Wow. Well, I got to find a way to. Make it so it looks neat. So we'll figure this out later. <laughs> uh, and we got a bunch. We got four. Four throwing stars. Four of these joints. And they made a really um, hard plastic. They're pretty hard. You know, they're not bent. They, that actually hurt. It actually kind of hurt. So definitely for ages. As I say, this is definitely a adult collectors. And where the heck do these throwing stars go? Maybe nowhere. Maybe you just have them to put in his hand. Does the box say where the throwing stars go? I don't think so. So they go wherever I want. And honestly, there's not really a place for them. And then we have this bad boy, which looks like uh, Ronin's weapon of, you know, this is a very specific weapon. No turtles had this type of uh, police wand. I forgot the actual name of this thing. But this is, it's, it's also like, you know, I'm putting pressure to it. It's not soft. This is, you know, sorry, plastic. Made really well. Uh, is there a place for this? That's not going to fit in there. Well, in the picture, he's holding it. So maybe we'll do that. Uh, maybe we'll do that.
And the hands are pretty, um, flat. oh no, you're not a McFarlane figure, why are you falling? <laughs> uh, and the fingers are pretty uh, flexible. As I'm struggling to get this in his hand. I'm also extremely delicate. I think growing up toys broke or something. And that always makes me a little cautious with toys that cost more than 30 bucks. All right, let's get this hand back in. Oh, man. The last freaking Ronin. Kind of has that grimace. Let me uh, get this other Mike Ronin head, Michelangelo head, Ronin head. A little bit of teeth. Let me get this guy looking sick. The stars don't go anywhere, and I don't even know if there's hands that can hold them. So what do you do with these stars? Let me know in the comments. What do you do with the stars? But um, that's this figure, man. It is, it is dope. This figure is fire. I am so happy I got this. As an old school Turtles fan, as a kid, I had all of them. I had all of them, man. I had... The, uh, the, you know, the original four, I had the, the Michael Jordan Donatello, I had uh, the freaking van, I had a bunch of these, these are my jam. And I'm trying to figure out the display. So the only turtle I do have here at my home right now in um, Los Angeles, you know, I have a bunch of stuff in my parents' attic. They live in Texas, not here, but I do have this guy. And is there, I wonder if there's a way for me to create a display with these two. Like he's, like he's looking at what he used to be, but what he's not anymore. You know, maybe something like that. I'm not really good with displays too much to stand my toys up, but that's sick what he used. Maybe that'll be the thumbnail too. That's the thumbnail, everybody. As a matter of fact, oh, let's get a little cinematic with this thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. I love this freaking figure it is so dope thank you guys for watching um we have so many more so much more content in our playlist check out the other unboxings check out our toy hunts check out our reviews got a podcast hit the link in the description below make sure you like and subscribe i'm doing the hand thing like rich <laughs> happy new year everybody and yo this is sick look at this one last turn around. And the rope, I'll have it hanging here. Didn't want to hold you guys. I'm a shadow of what I used to be. Cowabunga, mother... <laughs> All right, man. I will see you next time. Same bat time, same bat channel. Peace. What's up, y'all? Welcome to Three Brothers and a Shot of Milk. We're